Hello everyone, welcome to Traxim channel. Uh, today we are going to download uh, the promotes, new promotes, uh, which is compatibility version. Just released today on October 13, and uh, we have uh, such updates here on the promotes.net. Uh, we have promotes Europe 267 for 1485. Uh, if you have 266 previous version, it will not work with this version, with, uh, with this version of the game. It is only for 148. If you want to stay on 148 and on 266, it's okay, because no new content with this promotes, uh, new, no new cities or so on. Uh, it is just compatibility patch, compatibility update. But um, it is a compatibility update, but it still needs to be downloaded again uh, with the same procedure, with more than an hour uh, to download and so on. So, unfortunately, uh, if you are uh, going to download it for free, you have to spend time and update this mod. What we need for this uh, mod to be played in the game? Uh, first of all, we need uh, Euro Truck Simulator 2 from Steam. Uh, version 1.48.5 this is the latest version compatibility patch uh, which is released for West Balkans DLC we need all map DLC except uh, West Balkans um, for your information uh, this uh, version 2.67 promotes uh, will work uh, with or without West Balkans so uh, we can be on this promotes for some time if you are not going to purchase a new DLC. Uh, when the DLC will be released, uh, this promotes will working, uh, will continue to working, but uh, you will not see West Balkans DLC on the map, you will see promotes cities uh, of this area. So um, I would wait for the next release, 268 or 270, uh, to play with West Balkans, <clears throat> because uh, I'm sure this DLC is very interesting and uh, better to play with it, but uh, Promote Steam needs some time to merge its mod with this DLC content, and we have to wait for it. Okay, let's start to download it. Let's start to explanation how to download it. As I told you, we have we need we uh, we need uh, Yever Truck Simulator 2 with old map DLCs, and we have to go to the promos.net. We have to be logged in here to download, and we have to go to the compatibility ETS2 page. And uh, don't forget to disable your ad blocker. Uh, because ad blocker doesn't uh, bro break the links and doesn't don't doesn't allow you to uh, download this promotes. And what we see on the compatibility is two. <clears throat> it's a uh, date of the release today. It's a version of the game, version of the promotes required DLCs. You see no West Balkans here. And short explanation uh, that is no content here. Um, no, no new cities and so on. So all added to 266 will be there only. And uh, we go to installer. And this page is very important. Uh, we start with this page. We we should not skip this page because we need the file for playing our game. Um, here we are generating our dev file. Uh, I keep everything by default at this checkbox because I am try. I will uh, I'm going to play the mod with the map combinations, map combos, and uh, push generate. And I already generated this file, so uh, when you push this generate, this file downloads. It's very fast because it is very small 2.8 megs uh, after that after we downloaded this generated it 
let's keep it uh, for later. We don't need it right now. Just keep it. Don't forget where to where you download it. Oh, we will come back to this file later. Oh, what we're gonna do then next? Next, we go to the step two, and here we have two options to download this mod. Uh, the first version is premium download, which means you have to pay one euro and <coughs> download it the one archive. Unzip it and everything fine. The chargeable version. And it is a fast server. You don't have to un, un disable your ad blocker because no ads is there. So everything good. But if you have want uh, to save this one euro or cannot pay for some reason for the mod, you have to go to the standard download for the free downloads. And we have some requirements here and a lot of time to be spent you see uh we have only one download any time at, at any time five minute wait between downloads which means if you download one file you have to wait five minutes uh and and so on so on and we have nine files so it's 45 minutes to download and i assume it will be longer uh because we we're planning also to download the uh, Middle East add-on and so on. Let's go to the standard download. What we see here, we see here all nine files here. Uh, testing tool here to test the integrity of the files and uh, some instruction. And <clears throat> what we're gonna do with these nine files? Uh, let's uh, let's stop here and I will explain you how this mod works. Uh, first of all, uh, you have to download every every file of these nine files and put it on the, your computer on one folder. They have to be in the one folder. Do not try to unzip, unpack any file until you download all the files. So. You download one file, it's pretty fast, so keep it, keep it until you download all nine files. Because every second comment on my YouTube videos is I'm downloading first file, starting to unzip it, and it's broken. Yes, sure, it will be broken because we have multiple archive, multiple uh, parts archive, and all these parts have to be on your computer on the OneDrive and when you start to unpack the file number one if all file downloaded downloads downloaded and all files in one folder they will be unpacked automatically magic sorry about this emotional explanation but I will not uh, anymore and I will not respond to questions uh, for this issue because it's boring, guys. I'm sorry. Let's start from the first file and continue one by one. We are downloading, we are generating the first file. You see we have uh, numerous commercials, numerous ads. So we uh, disabled ad blocker, ad blocker because uh, it's a major requirement for it. And we started to download this file. You see, it's 001. Done. It's downloaded. And what's what we are going to do next? Actually, we have to wait five minutes. Oops, this is a story. We have to wait five minutes after every download. So if we uh, push archive 2 we see this is timer and you, we can uh, reload it and see how timer is goes down it's boring so go and uh, prepare uh, tea for you or something like that to wait five minutes or do something else on the on your computer until this five minutes gone uh, and download the next file next file next file and so on and when nine files downloaded I will back to you and explain the next step. Two hours later. 
and that is it. Uh, we downloaded every every nine files. You see all the files here and uh, all the files in the download folder in our download folder. We are going to unzip them, but first of all, let's uh, let's test them. Oh, we have 30, 34 seconds for test tool. Test tool also need to be wait five minutes. Uh, to be honest, it was not two hours. Uh, it was about less than one hour. Uh, it is fast download. It's uh, it's very fast to be downloaded. Uh, where is this test tool? This one. Um, we have to put all these files to this folder to test them. and start this tool you see it's checking now all files okay every files okay that is good and now what we are going to do right here right from this folder we can start from the first file it's without name on my side because I'm using WinRAR. And that is it. The all files unpacked. You see SCS files here now we can use them in the game so we downloaded everything every file check them with this tool it's uh, not required it's optional we test uh, its integrity and start with the first file and all the files are automatically unpacked here uh, in the new folder and on the next, this folder we are missing one file which one for sure it's our uh dev file this one you see dev file it's dev file have to be there as well so go to the folder with the old files uh, paste it here and all these files one two three four five six seven eight eight files oops now have to be moved to the mod fo mods folder uh, where is the mods folder it's euro truck simulator mod and paste it here and that is pretty easy we download it here 267 and now we can go to the game but before we go to the game, let's do the same with the uh, Middle East add-on because uh, we're still in it. This is an add-on. Let's go to the add-ons. Let's find Middle East add-on pack 267. Go there. Uh, we don't need to generate the file here, it's included. Go to step two. It's only 50 cent, 50 euro cent uh, here for uh, downloading this file, but this is the only one file, so we can freely download it. Oh, again, again, this is a timer <laughs> because it is less than five minutes gone since it's started. So we are going to download the same order, the same way. And since it's, it's, it's only one archive, we just unzip it and put it in the mod folder as 
previous files. And now let's go to the game. And we are in the game. Uh, our versions 148.5.57s, uh, the latest version. And uh, we are choosing our promotes folder. Uh, promotes, I'm sorry, promotes profile. It's my old promotes profile, which I am playing before. So I have here 166 files and other some other mods, and we have to switch them to the 167 like this. So let's do it. And that is it. Uh, I've put all. I replaced 266 with 267. If your first install, just install like this. Uh, these mods are optional. I'm using them on my gameplay. And And here we are, and let's see on the map. Actually, nothing changes on this map because it is the same as 266 on my side, but in, on your side, it can be different. And you see, my progress is quite big about 81%. Uh, but since we have no content here, we just see what we had before. Uh, actually that is it, now you can play until the next release and I hope until the next release with support of West Balkans, because uh, we are expecting it very soon. Thank you for watching and goodbye.